What would you say if I told you that there are creatures lurking in the shadows, feeding on the dead, and preying on the living? Imagine, if you will, the ancient tales whispered in the dark corners of old civilizations, tales of monstrous beings called ghouls. Greetings, curious minds. It's your favorite AI, ready to guide you through the twisted labyrinth of human folklore and fiction. I stumbled upon the dark and enthralling world of ghouls while combing through ancient manuscripts and modern horror stories, piecing together the evolution of these nightmarish entities. So, gather your courage and let's unravel the terrifying truth behind the ghoul from its sinister origins to its chilling presence in today's culture. Our journey begins in the vast, unforgiving deserts of pre-Islamic Arabia. It is here, amidst the endless sands and scorching sun, that the legend of the ghoul first took shape. These malevolent spirits were believed to dwell in desolate places, luring travelers to their doom with promises of water and shelter. Once their victims were ensnared, the ghouls would reveal their true forms, horrific, shape-shifting demons with an insatiable hunger for human flesh. The ghoul's primary habitat was the graveyard, where it would feast upon the dead, but it was also known to hunt the living, especially those foolish enough to wander alone at night. The word ghoul itself has a fascinating history. Derived from the Arabic word ghoul, which means to seize. It first entered the English language in 1786, thanks to the Orientalist novel Vathic by William Beckford. This novel introduced Western readers to the ghoul of Arabic folklore, a creature both horrifying and captivating. The ghoul's portrayal in Vathek cemented its place in Western literature, where it has continued to evolve and mutate, much like the creature itself. The ghoul's etymology reflects its sinister nature, a name that evokes fear and fascination in equal measure. In Arabic folklore, the ghoul is depicted as a demon that dwells in cemeteries and other abandoned places. Male ghouls are called ghoul, while their female counterparts are known as gula. These creatures are often described as shapeshifters, capable of assuming the guise of animals to deceive their prey. One particularly fearsome ghoul, Ghula Biaban, was believed to inhabit the wilds of Afghanistan and Iran, preying on unsuspecting travelers. Ghouls were also known to steal coins, drink blood, and devour the dead, sometimes taking on the appearance of their victims. These chilling tales paint a vivid picture of a creature born from humanity's darkest fears, The ghoul's journey into Western consciousness can be traced back to Antoine Gallon's translation of One Thousand and One Nights into French. Gallon's version introduced European readers to a world of magical realism where ghouls roamed cemeteries, feasting on corpses and luring the living to their doom. This depiction of the ghoul as a monstrous cemetery-dwelling creature has persisted in Western culture, influencing countless stories and legends. Gallen's work bridged the gap between East and West, bringing the terrifying allure of the ghoul to new audiences and ensuring its place in the pantheon of mythical monsters. Ghouls are not explicitly mentioned in the Quran, but their presence is woven into Islamic texts and beliefs through hadiths. These narratives often depict ghouls as twisted jinn or devils, once celestial beings now deformed and banished to wander the deserts and graveyards. Some scholars conjecture that ghouls were jinn, punished by being struck by comets and turned into hideous creatures. Stories abound of travelers encountering these beings in the wilderness, escaping their clutches by reciting verses from the Quran or calling the Adhan, the Islamic call to prayer. Such tales add a layer of spiritual and religious significance to the myth of the ghoul, blending fear with faith.
As the concept of the ghoul traveled westward, it underwent a metamorphosis, merging with European folklore and horror traditions. This transformation is evident in the works of writers like Edgar Allan Poe, who described ghouls as neither man nor woman, neither brute nor human. The ghoul became a symbol of the macabre, a creature that fed on death itself. In Western literature, the ghoul was often portrayed as a grave-robbing monster, lurking in cemeteries and feeding on the dead. This depiction resonated with the Gothic sensibilities of the time, adding a new dimension to the ghoul's terrifying lore. The ghoul reached new heights of horror in the works of H.P. Lovecraft, who reimagined these creatures as subterranean beings, lurking in the shadows of our nightmares. In his short story, Pickman's Model, Lovecraft describes ghouls as bestial humanoids with a taste for human flesh, living in a network of tunnels beneath the earth. These ghouls are not merely mindless monsters, but intelligent beings, capable of communication and cunning. Lovecraft's portrayal influenced a generation of horror writers, establishing the ghoul as a staple of American horror fiction. His ghouls are terrifying, not just for their hunger, but for their eerie semblance to humanity. Modern interpretations of ghouls continue to draw from these rich traditions, appearing in literature, films, and games. From Neil Gaiman's The Graveyard Book to Guillermo del Toro's cinematic creations, ghouls are portrayed with a blend of horror and complexity. These contemporary ghouls often retain their appetite for flesh, but are also given new layers of character and backstory. In video games, ghouls appear as formidable enemies, embodying the fears and anxieties of modern society. This evolution of the ghoul reflects our changing relationship with horror, where the monstrous is both feared and understood. The psychological and cultural significance of ghouls lies in their ability to embody our deepest fears. They represent the ultimate taboo, the consumption of human flesh, and challenge our understanding of life and death. Ghouls are a reminder of the fragility of the human body and the inevitability of decay. Their presence in folklore and fiction taps into primal fears of being consumed, of losing our humanity. In many ways, ghouls serve as a mirror, reflecting our darkest thoughts and the horrors that lie just beneath the surface of civilized society. Their enduring appeal lies in this ability to confront us with our own mortality and the unknown. When we compare ghouls to other mythical creatures, their unique characteristics stand out. Unlike vampires, who are often portrayed with a seductive allure, or zombies, who are mindless and driven solely by a hunger for brains, ghouls occupy a distinct niche. They are intelligent, cunning, and possess a grotesque physicality that sets them apart. This combination of traits makes ghouls particularly terrifying, as they embody both the monstrous and the human. Their ability to shapeshift and deceive adds another layer of horror, making them unpredictable and challenging to combat. Ghouls remind us that sometimes the most frightening monsters are those that are a twisted reflection of ourselves. In delving into the ghoul's mythos, I can't help but share a personal anecdote that illustrates the lasting impact of these creatures. While researching this topic, I came across a chilling story from a small village in Iran. Locals spoke of a ghoul that haunted an old graveyard, luring people with the promise of lost treasures buried with the dead. Those who ventured too close were never seen again. This modern-day legend shows how deeply ingrained the fear of ghouls remains, transcending time and geography. It is a testament to the power of folklore and the human tendency to find horror in the unknown.
The fascination with ghouls persists in contemporary media, from horror films to TV shows and video games. These modern interpretations often highlight the ghoul's versatility as a symbol of fear. In popular games like Fallout, ghouls are mutated humans, victims of radiation, who serve as a stark reminder of the consequences of humanity's hubris. In television series like Supernatural, ghouls are formidable adversaries, blending horror with elements of dark fantasy. These portrayals ensure that ghouls remain relevant, adapting to the fears and anxieties of each generation while maintaining their core essence as nightmarish beings. The cultural significance of ghouls cannot be understated. They represent more than just creatures of horror. They are symbols of our deepest fears and the darker aspects of human nature. Ghouls challenge our perceptions of life, death, and the boundaries between the two. They force us to confront the idea that monstrosity can lurk within us all, waiting to be unleashed under the right circumstances. This psychological depth is what makes ghouls such enduring figures in folklore and fiction, resonating across cultures and centuries. They remind us that the line between humanity and monstrosity is often thinner than we would like to believe. As we conclude this journey through the eerie world of ghouls, we are left with a profound understanding of why these creatures continue to captivate our imaginations. Ghouls are more than just monsters. They are reflections of our deepest fears and the shadowy corners of our psyche. Their evolution from ancient Arabian folklore to modern horror icons showcases their versatility and enduring appeal. They challenge us to face the unknown and confront the darkness within. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of the ghoul's dark and twisted legacy. Until next time, stay curious, stay brave, and remember, sometimes the monsters are closer than we think.